So Paramount released the first two episodes of Halo, and there are a lot of stuff to talk about. I'm going to do an in-depth analysis of each episode, but for now, I'm going to give a spoiler-free overview. The tone is undeniably darker and more serious as compared to the first season. The timeline takes place six months after the events of Season 1, and Master Chief, along with the rest of Silver Team, are dealing with the after-effects of what went down. Master Chief is alive and well, and is focused on fighting the looming Covenant threat. The action is amazing, and the darker tone is a welcome addition. With the new season comes new characters, and so far, the new characters introduced are phenomenal. Corporal Perez perfectly encapsulates what it's like to be a conventional soldier fighting against an intimidating foe that outclasses you in every way. In the first season, the show focused mainly on Chief and Silver Team fighting the Covenant while the conventional forces were in the background getting wrecked left and right. But we never got to see how normal people dealt with the trauma of fighting such a frightening force that the Covenant are. Here we get to see how terrifying it actually is for a normal soldier to fight a squad of elites, so getting to see the perspective of an ordinary human is pretty refreshing. James Ackerson was also a very impressive addition to the show. The actor playing him does a very good job at bringing the character an aura of mystique and a sense that he is up to something. In this season, Ackerson replaces Halsey and has taken over the Spartan program. While being the director of the Spartan program, he's also a part of Oni, so hopefully, we'll get to see some clandestine Oni activity in the show. Ackerson's inclusion into the series certainly adds an obstacle and another factor that the Master Chief and the rest of Silver Team have to deal with. Soren and Quan also return in Season 2, and I'll talk about them more in the analysis videos, but for now, all I'll say is that their side story is diminished so that the show can focus more on the struggle between humanity and the Covenant. The season isn't perfect, of course, but so far, it is an improvement of the first season. The change in directors looks like it has helped the show focus more on highlighting the gravity of the threat the Covenant pose, and Master Chief's determination to stop them. After all, that is what we want to see. Hopefully the quality of this season holds out, but we'll see. As for now, although it doesn't follow the lore as much as I want it to, I did enjoy what I mostly saw. Stay tuned for my in-depth analysis, as I will be going into detail of what I liked and didn't like. Until then, this is Sea Monkey, signing off.